Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC and this is my ride review of the X8 wrist brace from Mobius. So about three, four months ago, I had a mountain bike crash. And when I crashed, went hand first into the ground, sprained my wrist pretty bad. And I went and had an x-ray, didn't break anything thankfully, but man, my wrist has just not been the same ever since. So I empathize for the riders out there that have had wrist injuries in the past. So it wasn't getting really any better. I gave it some time to heal up and I decided, you know what? I gotta get a wrist brace. So I picked up this X8 from Mobius. I am so glad I did. This thing has been a lifesaver. I honestly would not be able to ride my dirt bike or my mountain bike if I wasn't wearing one of these. It just gives me more support. And I'll actually give you a little comparison here with my arm to the same angle when I try and bend them up. You can see just how much farther I can bend my right wrist back. So this really helps limit that range of motion. It is adjustable. You can adjust if you want it to stop your range of motion sooner or later. But for me, it's comfortable. I've had no issues as far as the fitment goes. One of the aspects I love about the fit too is that it's basically a palm-free design. You just have this little loop here that goes around your finger and then you don't have anything on your palm. So when you're gripping the bike, it doesn't feel any different to you. And the way it works is pretty cool. It's really similar to their knee brace. They use that same tendon backplate design. So you have this piece here, which just snugs right up to the bottom of the wrist. Like I said, super comfortable. You have this dial right here that you can use to adjust that, to tighten it up. Then you just have a Velcro strap here at the top of it that goes around your arm. So I think a common concern that a lot of riders have when they're looking to get a wrist brace is, will it affect you or inhibit you when you're out there riding? And for me, yeah, it does limit your range of motion, but once I put it on, I start riding, I honestly forget that I'm wearing it. So it's not a concern for me. It has not affected my riding one bit. I've taken this and actually put it on my throttle hand just to kind of see how that would feel. No issues there. And you see Ken Roxon wearing this on both wrists. There's a lot of other top level riders that are wearing these wrist braces. So as far as, you know, the riding aspect, doesn't affect me there. You know, but where I really notice it the most is obviously big impacts. If you over jump something, it's gonna give a lot of support there. And for me, what kind of bugs my wrist the most is the small chattery stuff. When the track starts to get a little bit hard, packed and square edgy, you know, you really start to feel all that energy coming into your wrist. And that's where I really, really like this. So at the end of the day, yeah, my wrist still feels a little bit sore, but it'd be a lot worse if I wasn't wearing a wrist brace. So another cool thing about these is that they're universal. So the same wrist brace will work for the left or the right wrist. And if you think about getting one, I highly recommend it. One of the best inve investments I made. Like I said, I would not be able to ride if I wasn't wearing one of these. So to grab one, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. These ship for free, orders over $75 due. And if you like this little ride review, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel and stay up to date. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.